I went to China for this video because I would get to play my favorite player of the modern era, the Cloud Walker. The year was 2010 when I first saw a specific Chinese team player with a penhold grip. He was so creative and he had so much style. And when I watched him play, I felt like I was watching my dream self play. If I could be any player, I would be this specific superhero, Xu Xin. Yes, he's a professional and way, 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 way better than I'll ever be in my entire life. But just the style of play, the desire to entertain the crowd, to be creative while playing, yet still play to win. So seen, what have you done? This was a very unusual quality within the Chinese national team, and it made Xu Xin stand out. In 2013, he would become world number one and would occupy that spot for 23 months throughout his international career. And in 2014, I became the voice of table tennis and had the chance to meet him. He didn't speak English at the time and I didn't know Mandarin. In late 2016, I moved to a place where I could learn to speak Chinese and a big part of that was because I wanted to communicate with Xu Xin and get to know him a bit to become his friend. And over the years, we became friends. Superman Cafe, what's inside? Hey, Superman, it's Xu Xin. I know that guy. Fun story about his business name, Superman. As a table tennis commentator, it's been my job to give players nicknames. The Cloudwalker, The Showman, Superman. A nickname that I coined during the broadcast after seeing it on a Chinese fan's poster. And it became his nickname. So now when I introduce him, he is the Cloudwalker, the Showman, Superman, Xu Xi. One day, him and his wife, Yao Yen, who also has a lot in common with me as you can see, contacted me and said, Hey, we're starting a table tennis club slash coffee shop in Shanghai. Can we use this name? And I said, Of course you can. And I expressed an interest to play with him. So he invited me to his club to play. That's our main court where we're gonna play. Xu Xin is an Olympic gold medalist and way out of my league. I challenged him to a match with a twist where the level of difficulty will increase with every game that we will play. We're gonna play a best of five, but each game is to five points. No deuce, four, four, golden points. First player to win three games wins the match. Sound good? Sounds perfect. Uh, game time. In the first game, Xu Xin will use a pro racket like he's used to, except made for the shake hands grip because today, this pen holder is playing shake hands. So, let the games begin. Jian Fa Chou. Ha ha ha. Ha ha I'm afraid of that forehand. <laughs> Since games are only to five points, we'll switch serves every point. What? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How can someone handle this much creativity? He just chopped the whole point and he still won! He just won four points with shake hands grip. Now, it's game point. Oh. Oh. Game point. Oh, so spinny. And Shushin takes the first game five to two. As I mentioned earlier, the games will get progressively more challenging after each game. So, here comes our second challenge, right hand. Xu Xin is known for his impressive skills with his pen hold left hand. Now, he'll play with his right hand and shake hands grip. Uh, <laughs> Oh. 
，你应该害怕我的反手。哎 ，sorry，sorry， 这 sorry. <笑> OK。哎 ，sorry，sorry，sorry。Sorry, sorry, sorry. <笑> Shushin, stop it. Two back-to-back -back unreturnable shots, and with these two points, he is just one point away from winning this game. <笑> game point. What? Game point. Oh no! Good comeback, Adam. Just one more point, and I'll win this game. Golden point. I did it. So here comes the next challenge for Shushin: a small racket. This racket is even smaller than his hand. This should be really tricky for anybody. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Are you kidding me? Anti-spin from the handle. Even with the tiny racket, he's just toying with me. Yeah. Oh no! Why? Oh no! Into the moon. <clears throat> Let's get back to the action. What? Four points in a row? Amazing. The small surface area is not bothering him at all. His precision while making these shots is incredible. Game point. Game point. <laughs> he tried it again. Thank goodness he missed. Game point. Oh no! Oh, oh! It's crazy how much spin he can generate, even with a tiny little racket. Game and challenge number four: recreational racket. Recreational rackets are worlds apart from professional rackets because they lack spring for bounce and traction for spin. Pros need spin in just about every shot they play. It'll be interesting to see if Shushin can win this challenge with the recreational racket. But why? I uh, good. Ooh. Oh, good. Game point. <laughs> this is the second golden point of this match. If he wins this game, he wins the match. Match point. <sighs> All right, it's two-two. Now in game number five, we have the chance to see Shushin play with the most challenging thing in this match: just the blade. 
This racket has no rubber. So for this game, we engaged in a practice rally before the match, allowing him to get used to the racket. Come on. Match point. Well, I have thrown the toughest challenges at Shushin, and he still managed to win two games. That's crazy. In the next match, Shushin will play his natural game as a left-handed pen holder as usual. Let's find out in the next video how I will fare against the former world number one. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on that video. Until then, keep on ponging. Peace.